Hello and welcome to another video from Miniature Tanks Company. In this video we will be assembling the M7 Priest. And this model is fairly simple. So the first step is to um, cut away the sprue pieces. So the bottom of the tank here has several pieces in it. So just cut away those. And there's the tracks and there's the the hull. Um, now, the only sprues type pieces that you have to cut away at is this. That's the little circular thing for the MG emplacement on the t on the tank on the. And then this is the main gun. So just take that piece and cut away like that, and that's all good. Sometimes there's little things that you will have to clean up. Ah, and then here. This is a little plastic support piece that needs to be taken off as well. And then what you can do is sand away to make it look even better, if you wish. So, just take and cut away like that. And the main gun is now done. Last but not least is the MG. And that just has a little bit of sprue pieces right there. That's cut away easily enough. And that little support type plastic under the, the barrel. All right. So now the cutting away part of the project is done. And now what we can do is start gluing it together. So the first step is you have these two pieces and you can see that it goes together like that so what you want to do is to take your glue and just dab a little glue on the top portion of this piece all the way around and once that's done then you can make sure to put the lid back on your glue so it doesn't dry out and then it's easily enough to just be placed like that. You can see how the, the front uh, piece lines up well. Yeah. Visibly you can see it lines up well, easily placed together in the front. Right there, you can see. Yeah. And then in the back, um, you can line it up like that. All right. So just double check, make sure it's gluing, gluing down at the correct locations. And it's a good idea to let it dry for a bit. And so next what you want to do is you want to take this circular little piece that's the MG emplacement piece and you just want to glue it uh, right there it's easy to see where it will go and you want to have the little um, oh the little piece on that circle facing outward because that's where the MG will be on so just make sure it's uh, like that so see that MG will go on there and you can face it outward and I do believe that they could be turned around so it doesn't matter exactly where it is because the the guy that was in this I think could turn the MG around and face it wherever he wanted to I, I think that was the case correct me if I'm wrong so you can see that you just will have it glue like that so there it is you can let that dry for a bit and up next we yeah, just let that dry for a bit. And up next, we want to glue on the MG. This can be a little tricky, so use quick setting glue or just be very patient and set the MG on uh, like so. And just let it glue there for a bit and hold it for a while if you don't have quick setting glue. All right, so just take the gun and you're going to place it in like this. This one's an easy piece to glue. Just take some of your glue, 
dab it on in this little flat area. Just put the glue there. And then take your gun and just place it like that. And there's the howitzer glued in place. And so the next step is to take the tracks and glue them on. And you can see the way they will face. Um, yeah, so they'll face this way. So just put them up uh, upside down. And you want to glue the top parts of the track because that's the one parts will be touching the hull. Just dab on glue in these areas of the tracks. And that should be good. And, well, it goes without saying. Just put the tracks on like that. And so put the other side on like that. And just try to get it evenly placed. Uh, for now, if you don't have quick setting glue for now, uh, you can work with it, but typically there's a little gap between the hull and the track. Um, just make it even like that first, but you don't want the track touching the, the top. It, the, typically there's a little gap, gap there. That, that way the tracks can move freely. Anyways, just put the tracks, make them look like that. If, if you have quick setting glue, you can do that fast. With this Gorilla Glue, you can have time to work with it. There's positives and negatives to both approaches. Alright, thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next video.